and especially our media community. So we are all in this together. So I'm invited here as a parent. I'm also a coach. In fact, right now, I'm the training director of the national team for Taekwondo. But first and foremost, I'm a parent. I'm a parent of four children. And all of them are black belts in Taekwondo. Uh, my wife, Pinuro ako din, pero hindi ko pinag-black belt for safety reasons, no? So, we joke about him, alright? So, ayun, ano? And uh, still of a young, my youngest kid is nine, he turned black belt last year. Uh, my kids started when they were four and a half, five years old, seven yung third ko na only daughter. And then, uh, it was all about engaging in something that they will have fun with. So, very important yung this, uh, this aspect of that they should love it. No? Or, they will learn to love it later. So, in fact, we would relate, my wife and I, we love music, but we never played any musical instrument. It's a frustration for us. Parang ganon. But all my kids know how to play piano. In fact, my two kids, my eldest uh, is here with uh, uh, my second boy, Rico is here also. Uh, these first two are part, see Dustin and Rico, are members of the national team already. But like all the other kids, yung mga nakita nyo na sa demonstration team, they were all part of the summer sports clinic, the Milo Summer Sports Clinic. Kasi yan yung isa sa mga pinaka biggest activity that we partner with Milo for since the 80s. No? And has been very successful throughout the years. And then this is where we produce our champions. Now, going back to this, uh, we've, we've uh, learned that we have to give our kids the environment for him. So, sinasabi nga nila na, okay, how can we teach a child to love reading if there are no books around in the house? Or they don't see their parents reading? So, it's always by example. So, when, when my kids were growing up, I would just bring them to the gym. I coach in a regular club with a lot of little kids starting at 4 years old, 5 and so on. I will just let them play. And then, nakikita nila that the parents enjoy it. The other kids enjoy it. So, walang pilitan. It's a very important thing. And of course, sometimes, yung mga parents naman, gusto ito, ayaw pa ng bata. So, what needs to be done? Pinakausap kami, no? As a coach naman. I would tell them, just bring them. Let them watch. Then, maybe, and encourage them to try. Never force them. Tapos siyempre, important dito is that the program is given to the kids are correct. So that's why you have to choose the programs very well. From ano, very good technical people who knows how to start them off at different levels. So very important sa amin is the beginner's level, especially in Taekwondo. Now, as a parent, the values in sports is the most important, especially in Taekwondo. In Taekwondo, number one, nakita namin is that they learn the basic values of courtesy, obedience, discipline. It's inherent in the sport. So, yung, yung ginagawa namin traditionally inside the gym, when they come inside, they fix their slippers and shoes, they have to put their bags in a certain place, they have to line up and stand straight. We tell them this. They have to bow. So it's uh, the beginning of teaching them respect and humility. And then later on, part of the program is the exercises that they do. If you nakikita siguro natin when they spar or when they do a form, these are the end points. But during the training itself, you have the different exercises that they would feel challenges, little pain some little suffering or what, no? Sabihin na natin. Iba-iba ang mga bata. But, because of sports and then proper coaching, 
slowly they will progress to developing stronger bodies, stronger mind, and stronger spirit. Because we believe in the holistic approach. That's in Taekwondo. That's that's the way we approach things. Holistic and mind, body, and the spirit. So it cannot be just physical. In fact, the word Taekwondo is mind, body, and spirit. No, the Do is the heart, the way, or the mental. The Taekwondo is the physical aspect of it. Now, over the years, I've encountered many, many uh, kids no, in my classes also. Um, itong past, I would say, 5 to 10 years. Uh, as mentioned earlier by uh, Lester, is iba na ngayon, napakaraming distractions. And together with the media community will be a big help. Kasi alam natin, left and right na ngayon, no? We don't want to mention, but social media is actually very addictive now. No, it's uh, actually plaguing. It's taking time off from actual physical play. So, which they will learn so much. In sports, the kids will learn to engage and encounter reality. Reality of pain when they fall down, they have to stand up. When they get hit, how to manage it. When they win, how to be humble. When they lose, how to work harder. So all of these things are in play when they are engaged into sports. So, yan ang point of view ng isang parent. Although I'm a coach, but first of all, I see myself as a parent na nakita ko talaga, all the children, they have to be in sports. Hindi lang pwede, kaya nasabi ni Atty. Mali kanina, it cannot be just IQ. No? IQ actually is information coming in. But the EQ is information being used in society when you go out. No? So, sa sports, they engage with other teammates, iba-ibang ugali, etc. They have to feel pain, they have to feel challenges at tournaments, etc. So Taekwondo, we have different levels. I, I believe you, you're very familiar with the belt levels as we call it. Dito pa lang, we, they already feel progression. It's designed that way. So, uh, the design itself teaches them or develops in the participants confidence, which is very important, alam natin, in life as a whole. So, yun lang, no? that's, uh, I think that would be the most essential thing that um, in sports, integrated dito yung values formation. That's all. Thank you very much. Absolutely.